is revving itself into a frenzy here in Columbia, awaiting this matchup between nationally ranked Missouri and Oklahoma. To the 10, to the 5, to the house, touchdown Missouri! There was something in the air that night. I remember we drove down on Friday night. We got in a hotel room uh, at the last minute because someone had canceled, and we had an amazing night just with the homecoming, and taking in all those festivities. And you know, Chris and I probably kicked back a few that night and uh, run into Kim English at Shiloh and asking him. That people were going nuts about this game. Really felt like this could be the moment where we beat Oklahoma. You know, we were so excited about, you know, going to game day the next day, and God, everything was just perfect, it seemed like, for the settings, you know. every I remember everybody being so pumped up in Columbia, didn't matter where you went, it was like, yeah, we're going to get them, you know, NYZ, you know. We go to game day in that morning, and we had gotten, you know, we gotten, we were hung over from the night before. I could cross it off the bucket list now, because that was one of the greatest experiences. Chris, Chris and I had the Rocky sign. We decorated a Rocky stand up with the Mizzou on the trunks. We had the, you know, the Rocky Mizzou sign, and we were holding it up. Got it on game day. A lot of people saw that, and that was just cool to be a part of that. I, I don't think I'll ever forget that day. It was the first time game day had been in in Columbia, and you know, Lee Corso, Kirk Kirk Street, or up on the, you know, and it was just so amazing. And they, it, that really set the energy up, I think, for the game because I thought, man, this is the best day of my life. They said it was the biggest crowd in the history of game day. And uh, seeing those signs around, I remember thinking at that point we could win this game because I saw some of the cool signs people had. So I remember one, and we got a picture of it. Someone said something like, hey, Sooners, you want some mo?" And it, it just really pumped me up. Like, we can win this game. We can do this. And I think that was the prevailing thought from that moment until the game started. Well, you know, I think we are all kind of skeptical once we got in the stadium. We started watching OU warm up, and these guys, I mean, they're huge. They're fast. They, they're scary. They made, they made me realize why I never could play D1 ball, because these cats are amazing. I mean, I've seen some pretty big guys, some pretty good football players, but nothing in life's comparison to this. We get to the field, and we're sitting field level right behind an end zone. We're sitting right in, in, uh, in the north end zone there, field level, which is, if you've never experienced that, it's unbelievable. We're sitting there, you know, Oklahoma's coming out, and they're ominous. They look like, you know, it looks like a scene out of a movie. But I took my little digital camera out, and I got a, I panned the crowd. Seconds before the kickoff, I panned the crowd uh, and, and saw all the gold people going down. And uh, then we had the opening kickoff, man. And then the kickoff happened. A wobbly squib kick bounces at the 20, picked up by an up man. McCaffrey across the 25, gets to the 28, to the 30, a seam to the 35, trying to outrun the kicker. He gets to midfield and he may go. McCaffrey to the 40, left side to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, to the house. And uh, I, I don't think I've ever had that kind of feeling go through my body and the whole stadium erupted. All I remember is just jumping on Chris and bedlam noise that could have blown the roof off. I just remember jumping on him and I could not believe what was going on. I remember I lost sight of, uh, of Magafee once he got kind of to the corner and I thought maybe they were going to angle him off, but he somehow got in there. We, It was just something I've never seen before in sports uh, at a live event. I remember Alton Smith when he made that big interception and on ESPN you can actually see Clint and I in the background and I'm I'm in midair like I'm jumping higher probably than I could ever do a vertical and Clint's standing there in shock and it was just I mean everybody was going nuts. You know we brought James Franklin in we had a chance to go up two scores and it was at that moment and you I think you can even hear me on the video. Oh, oh, Look at they are they're they're done. Done. they're done they are done they are done I say they're done I mean, Chris and I both say they're done. You could see in their body language, this was not the Oklahoma that had beat us all those times in Big 12 title games. This team was, they were hanging their heads. They looked like they were physically beaten up. And we yelled, you know, they're done. When Franklin punched that in, Punch to me in, that baby. was all the emotions of all the years of having to get kicked in the nuts by Tiger games all came out in, in one furious war. And I, I turned the camera around, you could see Chris and I just going nuts with the whole crowd behind us. Chris, you ready for this, man? I'm ready for this. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Good. It's about to happen. Then, Check it out. Then baby. you Check lead us out. out onto the field. I will. 
the rushing of the field. I mean, man, we Clint and I take off. You know, we're from about ten yard line, or maybe you know, but not quite there. And we realize the game is not over; it's still going on. They're lateral it back our way. Clint's thinking about tackling Landry Jones. It was just, dude, it was magical. And then finally, here comes everybody, and I always wanted to rush a field, but I will say I'll never rush a field again. I'm telling you, it is, it's the best, worst feeling in the world. You're getting engulfed, everybody's crazy, but then you start to worry about your safety a little bit. They're doing three and four reverses. Well, Chris and I are already on the field at this point. We're, and what's even scarier is we're in the end zone and the laterals are coming back towards us. And I'm thinking, am I gonna have to make the tackle on Murray or on, on Landry Jones? The other way. But it's not going to matter. The students have come on the field, and they shouldn't do that. That'll do it. There's a penalty flag, so hang on, ladies and gentlemen. The students came on the field too early now. And I remember we got lost. We were like, stay together. And as soon as it, you know, as soon as it's over, Clint and I just split up, and then we took forever to find each other. But once we did, the first player we ran into was Will Ebner, and. Man, how cool was that? We got a couple pictures of us on the field, just, you know, finally getting those emotions out. And once I get out to the car, we, I have literally 150 text messages and voicemails from people that tried to get a hold of me during the game and cut because one of the greatest experiences as a sports fan, as a Missouri fan, something that you, I don't know if you'll ever see anything like that again. It was unbelievable. Probably the greatest weekend of my life. I would have to say that this is, that was the greatest sporting event I've ever been to. I mean, a team that we had, that Gary Pinkle had never beaten, all the great teams he'd had with Chase Daniels and, you know, Brad Smith. This night was just magical. It was really the only way to, experience, to explain it, you know.